Welcome to Creative Tian channel. In this video, I'm going to do a circular knitting and show you the basic increasing stitches. To do the circular knitting, you will need a reaper. So I'm using my browser 260 with a reaper. So you can set up your reaper, change the connecting arm, place the carriage to the reaper, and adjust the level so the gap is very minimal. And there are many ways to do a circular knitting. I'm going to follow my instruction booklet for KR260. The first thing is to set up the pitch to half pitch, and usually you place it in the center. And you can change the pitch by turning the knob below. So we stay in the center, H3. And now arrange your needles. So we have about half on the knitter and half on the reaper. And for this exercise, it's better to have the end needles on the knitter. So the reaper is one stitch less. And if you see closely, this is a half pitch. The reaper needle is in between the knitter needles. And we will set the carriage to zero or the lowest tension. Usually we start with a very low tension. So the edge has a neat finish and it doesn't flare up. And for the knitter, everything is plain stitch. And this is the end. For the tension, I set to zero. Or you can go even lower. For the reaper, I also set to zero. Some people like to set the reaper a little bit lower tension than the knitter because each machine is different. Sometimes when we set it lower, it actually balances out. So you just have to knit a sample and see how your machine works. And here again, all buttons are for normal knitting. And we are going to start knitting with a waist yarn. And before you start, you can run the carriage a few times. So the needles are in the right place. Now we thread the yarn through the mast. I can thread it through the carriage, the connecting arm. And the other end just drop down and I will hang a clip below. Now we are ready to knit one row. You can see create a zigzag row. You can adjust the edges if it's too tight or too loose. So next we are going to hand the cast on comb. This is the smallest piece I have. Apparently it's very big for this project. We are going to pull the wire out and poke the button teeth in between the triangle shape, the zigzag, and close the wire. So it can sit on that zigzag row. And now you can add a little bit of weight. For a bigger sample, you can hang the weight on the cast on comb. So we are done with the waist yarn. The reason we need a waist yarn is because of the zigzag row. It's connected on both sides. But for the circular knitting, it's actually open in the bottom. So we need the waist yarn first. And after we're done, we can take off the waist yarn. So it will be a circular shape. So you can cut off the waist yarn and change to main yarn now. Again, I'm going to drop it down and place a clip. Now we'll thread the main yarn and thread it through the connecting arm and I will place a clip below. Now we are going to change the setting to circular knitting. And first we change the tension to the, your main tension. I have worsted weight yarn. I set it to around seven and I press the left part button. So when I go to the right, it will knit. And when the carriage go to the left, it will not knit. And for the reaper, we set the tension again to match the knitter. 
I have 7. And since our knitter has part on the left side, I want the ribber to have part on the right side. So this way, when you go to the right, it doesn't knit. And when you go back to the left, it will knit normally. That's how we make a circular shape. Now we are all ready to knit circular shape. We can just start knitting back and forth. Now we are ready to do the increase. You can increase the same way as you increase on the knitter. The only thing is that you have to match the top and bottom. So if you increase one stitch on the top, on the right side, you should increase one stitch on the bottom, on the right side. It's the same on the left side. If you increase one stitch on the top, you should increase one stitch on the bottom. The easiest way to increase is to just pick up the horizontal bar of the first stitch and hang it onto a new needle. And we do the same on the bottom. Pick up the horizontal bar. You probably want to do it from the top. And hang it to the new needle. And you can do the same way on the left side. Pick up the bar. Hand it. Pick up the horizontal bar of the first stitch. And hand it to the empty needle. Now we did the increase. We need to knit two rows. Because for brother machine, when we do circular knitting, one row is only knitting one side. So to complete a full circle, we will need two rows. Now we just increased four stitches, two on the top and two on the bottom. And another increase is a full fashion increase. I use my two prong tools to do the full fashion increase. Now we transfer one stitch out. And then pick up the next stitch, the horizontal bar, just like before, and place on the empty needle. And we do the same on the bottom. We transfer those first two stitch, one stitch over, and then find the horizontal bar and place it to the empty needle. And now we can knit two rows, or you can continue doing the left side. Transfer one stitch out. And pick up the horizontal bar. Place onto the empty needle. Make sure the latch is open, you'll be easier. The same on the bottom. One stitch over. And then pick up the next horizontal bar. Place onto the empty needle. Now we are ready to knead a few rows. And to decrease, you can do it the same way. Use the two prong tool and just transfer one stitch in.
place the empty needle back to the A, the non-working position. And we'll have to do the same for the button. And the same on the right side. And need two rows. And when you are ready, just need a few rows of waste yarn and take it off the machine. So that's the final one. You can see the increase. I increase two times on each side and then decrease one time. And you can see it creates a pocket and it's held by the waist yarn. If you take off the waist yarn, it will be a circular knitting. So that's how you do a simple increase and decrease on a circular knitting. Thank you so much for watching today and see you next time.